Poll road soon be a reality here in the Mitten State. The Michigan Senate is currently looking into that possibility. The proposed bill suggests looking at tolling as one way to tackle the state's crumbling infrastructure. Fox 47's Christiana Ford talked to lawmakers about the idea today. It's called the feasibility study where the Michigan legislature would look into the cost and factors of adding tolls to certain highways. It's not a done deal yet, but Michigan drivers I talked to told me it's worth considering. I'm on call 24 seven. Dave Allen spends hours on the road every day transporting supplies for Michigan's automakers. It's, it's a mess. Number one, because the potholes. And dodging potholes. 75 is the worst. Traveling miles across the country, all of his expenses, including tolls and busted tires, are out of pocket. And of all of the roads he's traveled, he says Michigan's are the worst. The front tires on my truck, 850 bucks a piece. And it's all, all it's going to take is me hitting uh, one pothole and bust the, bust the, the belts in the tire and tire shot. Potholes and crumbling infrastructure, problems state lawmakers have been trying to tackle for years. After Governor Whitmer's unpopular 45 cents gas tax proposal, another option now on the table. A number of other states, especially those that surround Michigan, have toll roads in them. And a lot of my constituents have asked me whether or not that's something we should do in Michigan. Federal law prohibits states from turning federal highways into toll roads, but there are a few ways around it. There are some federal programs that are kind of in an exploratory way or a pilot program that would allow states to invest in this here or there. There's also an ability to toll bridges. All options the Michigan Department of Transportation would look into if a feasibility study is approved in the state legislature, a study expected to cost a few million dollars. This study will kind of paint a picture for us of whether or not we can invest in toll roads, and then from there we can have the debate and discussion as to whether or not we should. Now this feasibility study is not a done deal yet. The Senate is expected to vote on this next week, and then it'll head over to the House for any revisions, and then they'll take a vote. For now at the Capitol, Christiana Ford, Fox 47. Senators say the cost of the study is still open for discussion, but the money will come from MDOT's current budget. If the bill passed, the study would take a year and a half to complete.